I'm Debbie Godfrey. Welcome to the Positive Parenting Pep Talks podcast. Now that we've gone over how to identify the four goals, I just want to make a few general points about when your kids are misbehaving in these four goals before I go into the redirection for each of them, which I'll do over the next probably a couple of weeks. So one thing you need to know about the four goals is that your child can only be in one goal at a time. So at any given moment that it's not possible for them to be in the goal of power and attention. They're only in one goal at a time. However, very young kids tend to move quickly through the goals. So while in this moment they might be in the goal of power, at any moment they may shift and change into another goal, which is why it's important to get familiar with identifying the goals, with practicing, noticing how you're feeling when they're misbehaving, so that if they do switch their goals and therefore the resultant feeling that you'll have will switch, uh, you can quickly shift your intentions and what you're going to do to discipline to match what the, child's mis- what the child's misbehavior is telling you. So let me just give you a simple example of how this can go down. Typically, young children set off initially in the goal of undue attention. That's the most basic bid for getting their needs met, to feel loved, to feel special, to feel valuable, to feel powerful, to experiment and explore, to be special. So what they'll do is they'll do something just a little bit annoying or (laughs) distracting, you know, mom, 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 dad, 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 or they were fine a minute ago and all of a sudden the phone rings and now they're going ballistic in the background. So those are examples of the goal of undue attention. And typically we don't know how to redirect it, so we'll tell our children, just a minute, not now I'm busy, wait till I'm off the phone, while they're escalating their misbehavior. So the more we try to coax and remind and get them to stop doing their bid for undue attention, the worse that behavior can get. And what happens is it'll escalate to the point where you know, they're going, mom, mom, mom. We're saying, not now, I'm busy. Just a minute. Give me a minute. And, but mom, I need, but just give me a minute. Mom, if you don't stop it, you're going to go to your room. And so then at that point, it becomes a power struggle and they'll be like, no. And you say, I need you to let, leave me alone until, until the, until you, until I've finished with what I'm doing. No, you better not t- say no to me. I'm not going to do it and you can't make me do it. And the power struggle starts. So now we're going to be in the power struggle where we're telling them to do something. They're saying no. And we're going to be now typically feeling provoked and challenged. Like we're going to make them want to do something. And if we don't know how to correct this goal when the child is in the goal of power, that'll escalate. So we'll be, you know, demanding that they do something and they're saying no, or they're being a no. Usually they often kids are intimidated or afraid to say no to us directly. So they'll, they'll be a no. And then it escalates until we say, if you don't do this, you're going to be grounded for six months. And they'll say, I hate you. Well, now it's moved into the goal of revenge. You'd better not say that to me. You're so mean to me. My dad never talks to me like that. Well, go live with your dad then. And this hurt, hurt back, hurt, hurt back. And that's the goal of revenge. And what'll happen is when we're dealing with a child in the goal of revenge, that will escalate. If we don't know how to correct the goal of revenge, that'll escalate to the point where the child gives up. And the reason they do this is often in that escalation of hurt and hurt back, we will unknowingly or not consciously be threatening the withdrawal of our love. And we do that in a very subtle way, but it's, if you don't stop this behavior right now, then, you know, something bad is going to happen. And they're they're, The child's misinterpretation is that they won't be loved anymore. And at that point they give up. I can't, I'm no good, I can't do it. And that's when it's gone into the goal of inadequacy. So just observe today, uh, watch your child and see, you know, if you're doing your best attempts to redirect their, their misbehavior, but they're not working, see if your child follows this typical pattern of going through the four goals rather quickly. And, and uh, you know, in the future, we'll have tools so that you can throw a monkey wrench in at any given time. Have a great day. Happy parenting. I hope you enjoyed today's episode of the Positive Parenting Pep Talks podcast. For those of you that don't know me, I'm Debbie Godfrey, owner and founder of PositiveParenting.com. I hope you'll go and check out my website and follow me on Instagram and let me know about what you thought about today's episode. Did you learn something new? 
were you able to do something different with your children? Did you have a success story? Those are my favorite to share. Let me know. Contact me. I'd love to hear from you. And also, what future topics would you be interested in hearing about on the Positive Parenting Pep Talks podcast? Thank you so much for being here and for all of your support. Take care and happy parenting. Take care.